Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for April 24th, 25th, and 26th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Aquariuses. Hello, my Aquariuses. How are you? Well, you know, weekend readings, I use my two Radley Valentine decks. I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. And then I try to pull just one of my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are getting through this time, but we're doing it together. So thank you, my Aquariuses. Here we go. One two and three remember i am an intuitive channeler so what that means is i open myself up to my higher power and whatever the words are messages they just come through three cards are face down and the first and third are reversed okay so strong message here now my aquarius is again i am feeling such boldness from you i am feeling such like oh you know nope Mm -mm, not holding me back any more energy from you. So it, I, it feels like it keeps growing until the time comes that you just do it. Now, and I, I have been told by many of my Aquarius is not to worry because I always tell people tell them tell you to kind of think things out because I've been told, Deb, we always think things out. So I'm not going to worry that much, but know you're in my prayers. Okay, so. Like I said, three cards face down. The first one is reversed. Let's see what the weekend has for my Aquarians. Here we go. Here we go. Page of water. So water energy is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio, emotional, but it's a fluid energy. This is about somebody new, somebody, some type of new emotional type of energy. So this could be any of those relationships that I talk about, job, career, work, it could be about family, um, and, and actually family, like maybe some, maybe you're going to hear about an addition to the family, um, but it could also be about intimate, um, personal, or interpersonal, but it's like, it's like my, even, whether you're outside in the world or not, it's like something new is coming into your life, something new that you've been wanting to come into your life, and this is about, this is feeling pretty good, this is feeling very, very positive, so you know, I've had a lot of a lot of feelings about my um, Aquarians wanting to just kind of like pack up and move. So maybe you're going to hear news about that. Um, this may not be the best time, you know, that that you're allowed to do all of this. But um, you know, but the thing is, for my Aquarius, is I I really find I feel like if there's a way, you're going to find it. If there's a way to do it, you're going to find it. And I feel for my Aquarius is that this weekend you are really going to be looking for whatever it is. You're going to be looking for that way, okay? It's like, I am determined. My Aquarius is, I haven't felt this determination from you in a long time. Okay, now, page of water, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly. A new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. And we've talked about that too. You know, you, it's like, you know, you know, you, you know what you know what you know. Okay, your next card, the two of fire. Now, fire is our fire energy. It is our Leo. It is our Sagittarius. It's also our Aries energy, okay? And this is about, you know, again, you know, you, what you know, you know what you know, and if there's a way you're going to, you know, like I said, I have not felt this really oomphy type of energy, oomphy, oomphy type of energy from you in a long time. Now, passionate, burning, determined type of energy. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. So here we have, so there's something new. There is something or someone new coming to you, okay? Your last card reversed. Here we go. The king of air. Now, air is your energy. It's also Gemini and Libra energy. It is your thought process. It could be about hearing news. It, but again, you know, with the king, I mean, the king is riding on his horse, right? He, that's a horse, right? <laughs> He's riding on his horse. He is sitting up straight. He is sitting up tall, and he knows where he wants to go. And this is where I, what I'm feeling for you. You know, whether or not this is the time that you're actually 
going to make that move, you are so prepping for whatever that move is, whatever. And again, it, maybe it's not an actual physical move, um, you know, but it's something it's like, nope, I want, you know, I want something different in my life. And it's like, you know, I'm not satisfied with that status quo. And if like, again, that, the words, if there's a way you're going to find it. Okay. Okay. So brilliant and partial professional. So this does kind of seem a work type of thing. Dipl diplomatic, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, balance mental and emotional considerations. So, and that is just kind of like, you know, when it says balance, you know, don't let anger take over. I mean, cause, or, you know, I feel like my Aquarians, you are extremely passionate about whatever this is and whatever this move that this move is for you. You're very passionate. Um, it's like, you know, in many ways, it's kind of like I'm done being treated the way I've been treated. I'm moving forward. I want more. And again, if there's a way, if there's, you know, you've got the will. You just have to, you know, you're just figuring out the way. Okay. I feel extremely strong, strong. Like it says, you've come into your own. Okay. Let's go on. So if that's the case, get on the internet, you know, if you're looking for that job, if you're looking for that new home, if you're looking even how to do um, like maybe some changes in yourself, you know, the internet has a lot of stuff out there right now. So get on the internet and do your research. Your last card is reversed. Here we go. The Knight of Michael. So the Knight of Michael is your energy again, okay? Knights are extremely focused on what they're going for, and that's what I really feel for you, my Aquarians. Now, it might feel you might feel a little bit kind of you know stymied if you can't move into it, but your brain, you're already seeing three or four steps ahead of yourself. Okay, you're seeing where you want to be and what you want to be. So the Knight of Michael is strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. So again, we have you know balance your emotions sudden changes so there's you know my aquarians it seems like that whatever has been stopping you has been lifted okay and many of my aquarians have told me that it's like you know it's like you've been at you know you've been trying to move forward and it, you know but now it, it feels like the energies even though we're in this weird time that for you you're going to start moving forward okay so interesting let me know my aquarians if you enjoy my readings, remember those buttons down there, especially the thumbs up. But my Aquariuses, as always, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.